I want to send a message to all of the men that I've been working with, all of the men that I have been relating with and that I have been working with towards something. This is either towards friendship or towards a business, towards a organization of some sorts, towards developing skills of space holding, towards becoming a better partner, a better man, uh, towards delivering your gifts in the world. And in this message, I want to bring in the distinction of the two sides that we carry inside of us. And the, these two sides that create oppositional forces inside of you to, to step into the world that you want to live, to really create the things that you want to create and the things that you came here to create. And this is going to experience inside of yourself as resistance, some sort of resistance. And it could come from many different parts. It's not just one or two parts. And for right now, for this distinction, I want you to see it as two parts. That there is these two parts inside of you. One of them wants to move towards what you are here to create. He wants to move towards what you came here for. And you know this, like this is very clear inside of you what you are here for. And on the other side, you're gonna have this resistance, this form of breaks, this sort of like anchor that is like dragging, dragging down in the ocean that is blocking you from moving forward. And this is exactly what I'm speaking towards. This anchor that is just like blocking you there and, and putting like really that this like uh, contraction breaks from like, no, 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 no. This is what my dad used to sound like whenever I was doing something too crazy. He will go, no, 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 no. And this was, I call it the, the no, no machine gun because he was like, no, 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 no. And it creates this form of like, oh, like, no, I can't go there. This is too much. This is too scary. It's too fast. I, I don't know if I want this. What am I going to do? And it's for, it forms in this form of resistance that stops this being from really being with what you came here to create. We really being with the, the fear of being big, becoming a big man. We're having a big, loud voice. We're being a problem. Because you are going to be a problem. When you take a stand for something, when you take, when you go for what you came here for, when you care, when you become authentic and yourself, you are going to be a problem. And there is going to be resistance about that. And that resistance is going to manifest as this like little child. No, please take care of me. I, I, I am not ready for this. If this is too much, I'm, 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 I'm going to be destroyed. And it's, it's real. I mean, I'm not dismissing all of this. I'm not dismissing the, the, the intensity and the reality of that. All of us have to walk through that, through that fear, that pain, that un, unknown, like that fear of the unknown. And if you don't acknowledge that there is these two sides and you don't work with the these two sides these two these two forces that one that wants to move forward or wants to do something about it and the other one that is on the background pulling pulling back and and trying to stop you then it's going to be that constant thing throughout your life it's never gonna go away and it, it never goes away but if you never learn to work with it it's going to be this constant pain and frustration and suffering that your life is going to be on of like, I want this, but I can't get it. I want this, but I don't want to get it. I'm, I'm going there, but I, I can't do it. And it becomes this block. And so your life is like a, like a constant, like, like being pulled apart. 
and it's painful. And and I'm not saying that pain is going to go away when you start working with this in a different way. And what I am saying is that you're gonna start acknowledging and working with the resistance. So instead of denying the resistance, or being completely pulled and manipulated and controlled by your resistance, you can work with it. And for this, you need to, to start taking back the responsibility of how you are creating the resistance. And what is the resistance telling you? Because this is a, your path of authenticity. Your resistance is part of what makes you authentic, is what, what makes you unique. And if you're not acknowledging and working with the resistance, then you are simply like being like a leaf in the wind, being blown here and there. And when you start working with the resistance is that you have these two parts, okay? So there is this beautiful process that you can do. You, you, can, you have seen how like couples counseling, for example, one, one person sits here, the other person sits here, and there is the, the counselor or the person that's holding space for these two parties to express what's going on. On this side, you got this, this side that of the things that you want to do, the things that you want to create, what you are here for, what you are passionate about, your purpose of being alive and your purpose of being here. You are on one side, this here. What's moving forward? What's motivating you what makes you alive what turns you on and on the other side you have the resistance which is nothing wrong with it it's just resistance and it's part of yourself part of things something very important that needs to be integrated in your life so on this other side you got the resistance what is the resistance saying Really, like, okay, so in this process, you become your own counselor. So in this process, you see yourself on one side as your, your purpose in action or as, the, as one of these parts that is in conflict. And you speak from that part, this is what I want. This is what I'm here for. This is what I want to create. And when you are done that, you switch to the other side you switch on this side and seal, and you go from the resistance. I'm scared I'm gonna be put into jail. I'm scared that I'm gonna be criticized and that my all of my social life is going to be destroyed. I'm scared that I'm gonna lose everything that I've worked to create, everything that I have built to create. I'm scared of, of all of these things. And, uh, and as you're doing this, this process of seeing the, the two sides, write down write down what comes up because it's like really gold really gold for for yourself you write down what one side says and you write down on the other side what does the other side say and as a mediator you can enter into this space as a mediator of yourself between these two parts you're creating synthesis you're creating synthesis from these two two sides you're synthesizing what works for both because these are both important what your resistance is saying is equally as important as the other thing and if one is not dealt with they're going both to be pulling like a tug of war and you know who's right in the middle it's your life and your life is going to be this life of stepping a little bit into purpose and then being being pulled back stepping a little bit into purpose and then being pulled back so as a mediator of your life you can say this is important. And how can you acknowledge and work with both of them? What is the steps, the change that can happen where both are getting what they need? These two parts of yourself are getting what they need and what they are literally like needing for. This could seem as not as compromised but where you get to build your purpose and you get to work with the the fear or work with the the resistance that is bringing up how can you make your work how can you make this purpose work in a way where you are bringing in your purpose and at the same time 
working with the resistance, which is probably a, a fear, a very real fear about something or a very real um, a feeling or emotion about something. So working with that resistance, is it something that happened in the past? Perhaps something that happened in the past where you try to be big and where you try to use your voice and when you stepped into your purpose and you got criticized or you got hurt and then there is like an emotional process there like I can't do that again because I'm going to be hurt. So then it's about processing that again and and being continuing to be present. There is still a part of you that wants to move forward, but there is a something that happened in the past that is preventing you from moving forward more cleanly. And there might be a lot of truth in there for you and a lot of um, like actual things that your being needs, like something that needs to go happen a little bit slower or something that needs to happen a little bit faster or something that needs to be made uh, yeah, like smaller. Maybe you are taking on something too big and you need to like break it down into smaller steps smaller understandable steps that go through a, a longer period of time whatever it is your resistance is your key to finding that purpose to finding what uh, like what is it that you need because if you're ignoring your resistance you're bullshitting yourself you're fooling yourself you're essentially like manipulating and forcing yourself to do something and then just when when the resistance gets too big, then boom, you crash and things go back and then go back into like, I'm not in my purpose. I'm not doing what I want. Uh, I'm divided. I'm not in integrity and things are going down. So in this process of working with your resistance, it's about really bringing in these two into alignment where you are serving more than just yourself you're serving multiple parts of yourself uh the different parts that get got get repressed that got denied that got uh pushed back in into a place where it's not part of your being and all of these things they start to surface as you start entering into your purpose on november 11th I'm going to be holding space for a workshop on vision board. This is in about a week from now, a little bit less than a week. And in this workshop, we're gonna be entering into this space of feeling, feeling your anger, feeling what you're angry about, what you are scared about and sad about, and, and also happy about. And from this space, creating the, the content is that is heartfelt, for what you came here to do. And I'm really turned on to, to bring these two spaces together of feeling where you can get to feel big, feel your, your, your big being or what you came here for, not playing small and like doing the ordinary thing, but like really taking up space. What are you really here for? What are you here for? What do you come here for? Why are you alive? And I'm from that space the creating the content okay what does that look like and then from that creating your vision board which is a portal for you to manifest those things create those things it's like creating the stepping stones for you to take those steps little by little and by looking at this vision board every day and every time you're getting to see the different parts the different parts of yourself when you are not in alignment with that thing that you want to create and this is very exciting journey because every day you're getting a reality check from this is what i came here for what i came here to create and you're seeing when you are not in alignment with that and quickly you can kind of like readjust your boat I'm like oh okay okay now like i see where i wasn't in alignment and this starts creating a an amazing distinction inside of you for these parts of you that are not in alignment. And when there is too much disalignment, then you can bring in this process of resistance. You sit on one side with, this is what I came here for, what I'm creating. And on the other side, this is my resistance. And there is spaces for processing this resistance. If it becomes like a bigger resistance where you need other people to, 
to hold space for you because you can't see your own shit. You can't see like all of the stuff that's happening there. You can bring this to a space where you can get to process that that resistance and working with a space holder. And I'm gonna leave uh, in the link here below uh, a link to a group where you can ask for these processes. You can go in, there is a whole team, international team. This is working for free. Most of the space holders are, they don't charge anything. They're here for the evolutionary journey, for learning how to hold space, for doing their own processing uh, of their own emotions and resistance. And you come into this group, you ask, anybody can hold space for this resistance that I'm getting. And then you get a, a space holder. People will reply to you and say, yeah, I can hold space for you this time and this time. And then you arrange with these persons to connect and you get a space to have a, a, this resistance worked out. So I'm gonna leave a link to this group down below. This is the Money Club EHP Dojo, but there is also, uh, yeah, there is other EHP Dojos. It's an emotional healing process dojo. And there is also, yeah, the, it's bigger because you can really ask for a space holder for any of your necessities. I'm also going to leave a link to the workshop registration page where you can register and it's going to be happening November 11th on a Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So it's two hours. We're going to be hands-on. This is a workshop for men. And I hope to see you there. I really hope that you find some value in this uh, distinction that I'm bringing about these two sides. And if you have any questions about this, please reach out. I'm on your team to get through to you to step more clearly and fully into your purpose. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next time. Bye for now.